Is there, there's another drone behind me. What are you guys doing, man? Do something. What's up, what's up, Game Wars? Before we get started into this video, I just want to let you know at the point where we go into the tombs or the burial chamber, whatever you want to call it, uh, you will s notice a vibration noise in the background when I talk. I am currently working on setting up my computer and my microphone in a different type of way right now. I have a very small tight desk, a very small type area uh, that I work in. So um, I'm basically putting some rubber around the base of it. And I'm also going to be looking to move some stuff around. So I do apologize for that noise. I heard it, so I know it's annoying to me. But the content's great, so <laughs> just, uh, yeah, bear with me. I'm fixing stuff. Without further ado, here's the video. What's up, what's up, Gaming Wars? Chief Rocky here with another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. And in this episode, we're going to upgrade the Panther. So let me go ahead and start connecting. We're going to go right into this. <laughs> no delay. I already got a kind of idea what I want to do here. Okay, so. One. I love the Panther. It's quick, it's fast. It's a lot better than Fusa, which I had in the last series. Uh, but the storage capacity of it, it, it leaves a lot to desire. Let me just say it that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to come and start gutting a lot of the stuff out of her. Hopefully there's nothing in there. No, nothing in there. Okay, cool. So I think we could actually, is that? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's raise her up. Let's, let's raise her up. Can we do that? Yes. Yes, we can. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and, ooh, lots, lots of room. Okay, I think there's stuff in here. We can leave that there. Wait. Yep. Okay, cool. Is that steel? Wow. Okay, is this steel? That is steel. Okay. Whatevs. I think we could go all the way up. That's a thruster. What's... I'm confused. Oh. There we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is... Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So I want to increase the amount of storage capacity this thing has. Ah, yeah, that works. Uh, the other thing I need to do is I need to create space. Or I think... Since we increase the storage capacity, I think we could actually get rid of this. Let's let's see how much storage capacity this thing has. 500 on this side, 500 on that side. So that's about 1,000. Wow, Chief, you could math. <laughs> uh, I think we could do this. Let's do this. Yeah. Is there anything in there? No. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to mess up too much of the design of her, so I'm not going to do that. What we'll do here... I got an idea. So, we'll go ahead and we'll put her... Right there. I like it when it faces like that. Particularities. Particularities. I said it right that time. <laughs> Anyways, I normally color that. Uh, actually, I built... Did I? Yes, I did make a color tool. Give me that. Okay. Why is all that stuff just mismatched? Okay, so three cargo boxes. Let's put one there. This is what we're going to do. 
And we're going to leave an extra cargo box on this, like this. Yep. It's ugly. <laughs> but that's how we're going to work with her. So for right now... Yeah. There we go. And then that holds some other stuff. So. Voila. She's a good. <laughs> However, I don't know how much she could handle. Right? Um, what I mean by that is like, if I fill her all the way up, is she going to be able to actually move at the same rate and speed that she normally does. I doubt it, but we're going to find out. So, since we finished that faster... Huh? It must be this. Since we finished that a lot faster than I thought we were, let's go ahead and make our approach on the sanctuary. So, I will meet you guys when we get there. There it is. Make sure you have Dr. Mendares. Mandares space anomalies report with you although we should not directly ask for Kessel speak with one of the guards in the center of the building and try to get an appointment with the commander of the station okay that sounds more uh, appropriate okay I got a rocket drone coming in let's take care of business here oh this dude's coming in hot This one tough dude. Is there there's another drone behind me? What are you guys doing, man? Do something. Okay, I'm under this guy. One down. Where's the other one? I hear him. We at? Come here. Maybe we could go upstairs. Let's see. Not this way, I can't. <laughs> okay. Let's go up this way then. Can we? Let me see if I can lower him out. There he is, there he is, there he is. Come on. Ah, ah, ah. Don't you hide. Okay, we gotta get up. We gotta get upstairs. Can we... Maybe this way. Got him. Nice! Ooh, man, I thought I almost ate it. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see if we could get this wreckage. This is the minigun drone. Nice. Where's the other drone at? Where'd you go? Huh. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I thought the one fell on the building. Oh, well. And nice. Okay, broken radar. Nice. What's this resource we're under right here? You know what? I probably should have built an ore scanner. Put that away. Promethium? Nice. Something killed that brood mother. Oh, 
I'll take that. Thank you very much. Uh, broken radar. We got to check that out soon, too. All right. Small wreckage. There's some other stuff over there. Okay. Okay. Can we, uh, yes, we can. Nice. Okay, right now, I'm going to more worry about, oh, there's estri Estrium over there, too. And you can see that little thing right there, that little waypoint. Lots of plasma. I found an area that has a lot of alien plasma. That is great, especially for medkits. So I'm going to farm the crap out of that. All right. So what I want to do here is I want to shut everything off with the exception of... Hover engines. Shut those off. And then I want to shut off the thrusters. So basically I want to keep everything else running. And that's mostly so I can keep the food that I just collected nice and cold. Alright. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to go in here and see if we could go talk to... Kessel. Actually, we gotta get the appointment. So let's go find that dude. There we go. There's the guard. Oh, dude, I like that picture. All right, talk to the Polaris guard. What do you want? Quick. Speaking to the commander of the station. Ha. Sure. You and the rest of the planet. Who do you think you are? Don't waste my time. Uh, Dr. Mandar sends me? So, the doctor has sent you? Wonderful. Then I'll better co- That doesn't make any sense. Then I'll better contact the committee and announce your arrival with the trumpets and fanfares. Do I look like an idiot? Get out of my sight or I'll- Oh, I'm getting a call. Who will that be? Possibly someone with nice advice to throw you out of the station and arrest you right away? <laughs> better answer that call. Ugh. Seems like you said the truth. My pardon. Things are becoming a bit rough the last days, and there are a few of us to protect the sanctuary. Anyways, you see the elevator behind me? Go up one level, and then to the right. Hurry up. Carver is waiting for you. Thanks. Nice. One level. Wait, hold on. What? One level. Okay. Oh, you came out of nowhere. Are, are you Carver? No. This says command. Maybe, maybe it's here. Ah. Well, hi, Carver. Commander Carver. Hello, sir. I heard the doctor was sending you over. May I ask what the reason for him not being available personally? He wanted to fetch some of his equipment. Oh, no, not again. Gosh, I am not his personal secretary, and he can send his minions to... I'm the commander of this frickin' station, surrendered, surrounded by... Oh, forget about it. Please go back to the elevator and one level up. Find his assistant, Castle, up there, somewhere. He manages the equipment of the doctor. While you're at it, tell him that he shall make sure that this time nothing is left there. Will do. Thanks a lot. Alright, uh... I already talked to you. Okay. Maybe, maybe you could talk to him more than once? Let's go ahead and exit out. Okay. Yeah, apparently you could talk to him more than once. Alright, let's go back up. I think one more level, right? Yeah, I think it's only one more level. Okay, so there's a station there. There's a station there. Okay, well, let's talk to this guy here. Not uh, Agent Kessel. So, Dr. Mandar has sent you over to bring me some price, uh, precious presents. So valuable that he gave them to a stranger? What you are carrying around might be the key element to understand what is going on here. And, how is the doctor? No worries, he is fine. The extraction team has picked him up. Back to topic. What about this data he was so excited about? Hand over the Space Anomalies Report. 
Hmm, these are encrypted. Will take a while. Security measures, you know. Our Xerox friends might not even have understood whom they had in their filthy hands. Something else. Promised info about Operation Phoenix survivors? Hmm, he promised that. Really? Savior or not, I think that's a bit too much to ask for classified information in our juvenile acquaintance. Don't you think? Beyond that, it is not on me to give you that info. But maybe you can try to convince me that I can trust you and I will see what I could do. How does that sound? Sounds like a deal. Very nice. Listen, I was in contact with a Talon named Caden. Not here, on a remote planet. Which was used by our people as well as far as I know. We are both searching for some technical artifacts that are hidden in old burial chambers. He found some on that planet already. And here comes the problem. I'm saying we used because the Xerox have attacked that site and I'm not sure if Caden and the others made it out there alive. For now those artifacts he found are out of reach. I am afraid we cannot wait until we are possibly able to meet again. Things are heating up and time is running out fast. Luckily, there is a burial chamber on this planet nearby the sanctuary. It is similar to the one on the training planet. Of course, we cannot simply go there. This would for sure arouse Xerax troops. They are already looking at our activities with some suspicion. So here is the deal. Go to the burial chamber and bring me the technical artifacts. Then we'll talk again. That sounds doable. All right. So we got, oh, what's this? Let's click this. Activating teleporter requires a red key card. In case of emergency, contact Commander Kavar, a carver, on the command level for approval. Uh, we don't want to do that. Okay, so apparently we could, let's see, can I connect to, uh, yes, I can. So it doesn't say that we're going to be in trouble if we loot. So I'm going to loot. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to loot all of this. All of this. <laughs> and this is going to be the test too to see if we can really move the panther full of uh, stuff after I upgraded the carrying capabilities of it. I can't. Can I? Ah, 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 I got back there. <laughs> after. Ooh. After I upgraded the carrier carrying capabilities of it. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And I will get back to you once we get to the actual burial chamber. All right. So we have an incoming attack. First one yet. Let's see how the defenses hold up. Oh, they're coming right above the mountain too. Ooh, it's a troop transport too. Oh, they're landing on the mountain. This is going to be an awkward one. Hmm. I wonder how they're going to get down here. Yeah, don't waste my rounds on that guy. Hmm. I see you guys. <laughs> okay, I want to see how this plays out. <laughs> I want to see how this plays out. Come on down here, guys. Come on. I got a radiation boost on too, by the way. Come on down. I want to see you guys get mowed down. Come on. So I'm probably going to have to build a defense station up there. I can already see that happening. Nice. That guy's getting killed. Nice. All right. Well, <laughs> mm, I was hoping for a little better, but uh, yeah, that works. All right, Gaming Warriors. So I collected a whole bunch of stuff from the sanctuary. Uh, the most notable thing was I was able to purchase both a radiation protection boost. Great. 
Uh, you got, I think you, I think I mentioned that when uh, the Xerox were attacking us and uh, jetpack boost. Uh, I took the EVA off because it takes off negative 80 armor, I believe. So I took all that off. I got night vision goggles from them. That was awesome. Uh, I got a couple more drills, like two of them. I sold them off and got some more credits. Uh, same thing with multi-tools. I had like three or four of them I got as well. And I was able to get, uh, I think there was like four explosive devices in a like uncommon loot box. Like just perfect. Um, and then all the rest of the stuff was just put in here. It's just all these en energy matrix and just stuff like that that I could just like throw into builds. Uh, and I also had some fuel cells, which I also kind of just dumped right into the base. So the base is pretty set. And so is this. Uh, I believe I put a bunch of ammo. Yes. Actually, let's double check because I built some more too. I want to make sure that we're all set. Oh, okay. Here we go. That we're all set before we leave. Okay. I think... I think that's a fair bit. These I'm going to run out of. Uh, cause it's basically keeping the raptors away, but I think we, I could think we could survive with that. We could turn this off for the time being. Um, and you know what? We can turn off the food processor as well. We don't need that running either. Uh, but we could leave the refrigerator on. We'll take this other med kit with us. And I think, yeah, I think we're good. Actually, let's, uh, yeah, let's consume one of these. Boom. Satiated. All right, so we are going to actually go to sleep <laughs> and make sure it's daylight before we head over to, boom, the burial chamber. We're going to knock that out um, and believe close this episode out. So let's, yeah, I, I know. I'm very, very satisfied. <laughs> so let's get to sleep and then uh, the next you'll see is us over there at the burial chamber. All right, here we are. There it is. I sent spiders already. I freaking hate spiders okay so we've done this thing before in the tutorial there's a lot of food here I'm gonna pick too so I'm familiar with it oh great okay let's get away from that dude this is what we're gonna do we're going to go ahead and we're going to kill the lights Kill the thrusters, kill the hover engine, leave everything else on. We don't need any of that on. Uh, to keep basically the uh, the food up and running, okay? Uh, we are going to... We need this. We don't need the ore scanner down there. Uh, we won't need this detector down there. I could always link back to here and get that. We will need this. And we are going to drop this and drop this just in case we die. So we could respawn here. Just in case we die. <laughs> just in case. Okay. So we can always spawn back here. Alright, awesome. Alright, alright folks. Here we go. Actually, we don't even need that other stuff either. We could take this and this out. We're going to do that too. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's drop you here and you here. We get the minigun too. Shoot. Did he see me? Is he? Yep. Ooh. A little stronger than I thought he was going to be. Well, oh boy. Okay, we can put that stuff right now in the fridge before it goes bad. Alrighty. Uh, and then, you know what? Let's pull that minigun ammo out. Put the minigun here just in case. And we got the Talon crossbow just in case. And a pulse rifle just in case. So I'm, I'm fully armed. I'm ready to kick butt. Alright. I hate spiders. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kind of regretting this right now, to be honest with you. I'm like, no, I hate spiders. Oh my goodness. A good thing is we get all this loot. Alrighty. 
Oh god. Yep, I hear him already. Anything up here? Nope, okay. Anything up here? Nope, okay. Just checking everything here. It's really hazy in here too, by the way. Yeah, boy. I, actually, I think there is this. I remember. I remember. Oh, baby spiders. Oh, man. Okay. Yes, the flamethrower works great on these little suckers. Great on these little suckers. Oh, they're so hard to loot, too. Is there still more? These things are so hard to see, too, man. Can we loot that? No? We definitely loot this, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where you at? Where you at? More, more baby spiders. Oh yeah, this thing is freaking perfect to these little guys. Nice. I'm in love with this flamethrower. Where yeah. I know there's another way over here too. I think right here. Yep. We don't need to go down there just yet. Go around the I don't want to jump down too. I wanna to be able to clear my way out. Get down here and Whoa! Okay, we got some big boys here now. It says small. Yeah, okay. Oh, these suckers are freaking fast, too. A little faster than I remember. Oh, oh, oh. What are you doing? What are you doing? Just, just die. Just die already. Curl up in your pathetic little ball and die. Okay, there's some baby ones over there. probably loot on the way out. You know what? Let's just do that. Unless we find... I know there's a box over here. Get these guys in a second. I thought there was. I know there's a loot box over here somewhere. Come on. Give me all that. Oh, there it is. Trying to hide me. Trying to hide it from me, huh? There you are. Ooh, nice. Stathian bars. Ooh, yes. And another flamethrower. I could probably sell that one. Okay, cool, cool, cool. What we got here? Okay. Let's shift back to the refrigerator. Get all this stuff real quick. Okay, I know there's another little area over here. Oh, yeah. That was pretty good against them, too. Uh-oh. I didn't see this little guy. Oh, God. Getting the goosebumps again. The hibby-jibbies. Cannot tell you how much I absolutely despise spiders. What? Wait. Why did I put that there? No. You're going to go in the fridge. There you go. Before that meat goes bad. I need all the meats. Okay, let's do this. Yep, there it is. Nice. More Sathium. Actually, let's pull this guy over to me. I think that's all here. Okay, now we go downstairs. Perfecto. 
Now, I thought there was an easier way down. I might have been wrong. I thought there was. I mean, it's been a couple months since I've done this thing. It's not the hardest thing in the world. Alright, I know things are going to start spawning. Come on. Hello. Hi. Okay, hold on. Don't get all antsy. There you are. There's one. I still want to spawn it on me. Oh, there you go. There you go. Jesus, these things are a lot quicker than I thought. That's a that's a normal size. Okay. You know what? Yeah, this Arnold Schwarzenegger, you guys. <laughs> I am the Terminator. Yes. Very satisfying. Ah, there's some little guys over there. We'll get them. Who? Oh. I mean, wait, I used it all? No way, I had like eight canisters. Oh my god. I think you can only buy these things too. Okay, this is gonna suck. There we go. I got him. You think you think a, a, a shotgun with some buckshot really get him? Got him. Well, that guy's so fast. Got him. Okay. I believe that's all the spiders. Oh no. Okay. And more. Okay. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anybody? Yes? No? Okay. Thank you. We're gonna go ahead and look for this artifact now. Ooh. Yes. We are definitely gonna keep that. Uh, I heard more. I heard more. Oh. Okay. Well, put you in there then. Okay, I don't see more, so we're good. Right, find this artifact. It's probably in that one right there. More than likely. Let's just clear this stuff out. I really care less if I get the spy. Ooh, there it is. Oh, it is nighttime outside. Damn it. <laughs> no! Okay. Actually, we want to put this one on me because I think it's going to that's going to trigger the mission. Let's do that. There it is. Hmm. These crates, someone brought these de them down here. Obviously, they are not historical artifacts. Let's head back and get some answers from uh Kazel. Kezel. Kezel, Kazel, whatever. Okay, is there anything up there? I believe there was at one point. And I know there's something in there for for sure. Okay, I can't climb you. Giant snake creature? I know I can do this. Come back here and do you. Well, I, I, I'm pretty sure there's nothing up here. But it doesn't hurt to investigate, right? Okay, nothing. And nothing. Okay, cool. Can we jump up on top of you? Oh, that's the entrance we came in. But I know something's down in there. That's where we're going to go look. Now, last time I checked, I couldn't destroy it. With a shoddy. Let's go ahead and... Blow this sucker up. Nice. I've never been in this room before. But I knew something was over here. Alright. More spiders. 
I said die. Well, I didn't really say it. My shotgun did. <laughs> okay, I hear more. I don't see more. Where you at? Where you at? Okay, maybe it's coming from over there. It's got to be coming from over there. Sure is. Oh, don't jump down there yet, Chief. And nice. Got time to loot him. Let's loot him. Let's loot him. Ooh, yes. Yummy. A nice red one. Nice red one. Okay, little boys. Come here. I think this will take me... No, it won't. Eh? I hear more. Oh. <laughs> okay, so... Let's look at this one first. Let's see what we got. Oh, heavy armor. A repair bay gold all oh, yes 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 let's go with starboard I've got nothing in there Ooh, that's too heavy huh how much yeah I'm gonna have to leave it and just come back for it I guess at some point is this mmm yeah I don't I don't have the capacity to take this so I'll just have to remember that it's here and come and get that. That's a big one, though. I don't know if I could take that and put it in a blueprint. Could I? No, because I have to have it on top on me for that to happen, right? Um, and I don't think I have that much mass. No, I can't carry that much mass. So... Yeah, I can't carry that much mass. So we'll have to figure that piece out and just, just come back for it. Alrighty. So let's get out of here. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, there's nothing else. So we're going to get out of here, guys, and then uh, catch you back at base. All right, so we made it back to the base, and we're going to go ahead and offload all this stuff. Now, I didn't want to start uh, the next mission or turn this mission in based off the fact that I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> and I didn't want anything to go bad. I didn't want to lose anything. Uh, yeah, so I thought it'd be better just to come back and offload all this stuff. So I got quite a bit. Um, yeah, let's offload everything. Everything. So we'll go ahead and go here. Uh, ooh. I might want to keep these in here. I'm thinking about selling those to get some money off those. I think that's really all they're really good for anyways in this game. Ooh, titanium rods, of course. Sathium. Yes, pentaxid. Armor boost. I'm gonna actually put that on. Uh, Flamethrower. We're gonna sell that. We're gonna sell that. We're gonna sell that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put that one. Uh, you know what? I don't nec necessarily need to right now. Boom. There we go. That's that's the good stuff right there. And we'll go ahead and this is gonna go. Yep. Yeah. Actually, it's gonna go in the armor locker. So. And the other thing, we'll actually put it here. Shift this to me. Uh, I found some gold ore around there too. Killed a couple gold ones too. So just some gold uh, bearings laying on the deck. Ah, oh, another Xerax attack. Great, you guys get to see it. Um, and then we'll just doom, 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 doom. And then right into the refrigerator. Boom. Okay. Uh, let's figure out where these guys are at. At uh, power this up. Undock. Okay. Where are you at? Where are you at? Ah, there they are. It doesn't look like it's a, a transport either. This is not really saying. So yeah, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to build a little tower turret up there on the top of the mountain. If it's the same thing where they're dropping off troops, yeah. 
He's not going to make it over the mountain, I don't think. Yeah. That sucks. Okay, you know what? I'm not even going to worry about it. The likelihood of finding me <laughs> or coming down here and, and taking us out is highly unlikely. So I'm not too worried about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to end this episode uh, now. Um, and in the next episode, we'll go ahead and turn in this quest to see what, what's going on there. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen a couple people play through this and I'm going to get the dart. I don't really like the dart. What I'm going to do is use something that uh, actually Amon Ra on Steam has actually taken my idea and ran with it. His is totally better than mine. Uh, but I'm going to take the, here it is, the F2 Bronco. And we're going to bring this thing in. Yeah. It's a, it, it's a fighter. That's a light fighter. Uh, but I'm, I really want to test it out. And that's, you know, I play this game because it's a sandbox. I get to create stuff. <laughs> so, and that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to have pull that in. So, uh, and I might actually texture this off camera. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next episode. Chief Rocky out.